Hello everyone and welcome back to This is the Police. A very interesting game. Usually you don't see strategy and story, like a branching story, in the same game. It's just they, they don't go together. You would think they would, but they just they, they, they don't meld together as well as you think. But this game might be proving that the cake is not a lie. Officer Blaine, Blaine explains, I thought she was a suicide bomber. Well, you're dumb shit. Retired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots pregnant woman. Yeah, real dumb shit. Mayor Rogers, city has no problem with racism. My ass. Why would a man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something sure I always farm, kept in the barn. I stopped keeping my. You froze a girl. Are you kidding me? Pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car, figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jack, if I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Your contract, Frank? Really? Sorry about that. Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. I don't know. The little girls... 
I'm gonna help Give him my phone number and it's tell fault. him it's done. But the little girl don't call me. Though. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice cozy barn, Frank. At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kids' body parts. Right before the last hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? Oh, fucking car. Alright, there we go. Third time's always the charm with that car, it seems. Okay, I wanna give this trick a star. What's the other shift look? You know what, let's just... Well, the other ship's got plenty more cops. So I'm going to give this ship star just to increase work force. And, uh... Yep. Shift B has uh, extra cops on it because of the mistake I made, so this one needs to be just tougher. No matter your personal relationship with the city's administration, your police station is at their mercy. In order to maintain reasonable working conditions, you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor. Affairs. City Hall. Decisions from City Hall depend on whether they're satisfied with your work. You can send requests every five days the fools in charge of the city may refuse outright or accept only some of your requests. So only ask for what you really need. SWAT upgrade. Well, this is like the upgrade system. Increases salary. A job slot for the detective. And a job slot for the officer. Well, my workforce seems pretty good, so I'm going to ask for the raise just to make them more efficient. I haven't used the SWAT. Yeah. Here's your weekly salary. City Hall hopes we don't disappoint. Fire all black cops. Tomorrow is the deadline. City Hall is making me do that? Fuck no. This guy's 400. I ain't doing that. But 400. Veteran cop. Super awesome. Am I getting rid of him? He's a good cop. What the hell is City Hall gonna do though? I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll take whatever they throw at me. At the end of my game, I'll just load. It's a video game. Alright. <laughs> Disorderly conduct. Every morning, there's a dirty, piss soaked bomb sleeping at the cafe. The man refuses to go away and growls at anyone who approaches, scaring off at the customers, scaring all the customers. Alright. You and you. Go take care of that. Nine times me in progress. Torch of Diana Lewis liquor store? Alright, robbery. A witness looked from her window while an armed man with a stocking on his head entered the nearby liquor store. That's probably a false alarm. Three eleven a.m. 
progress. A fight. A hot dog vendor reports he saw two Elvis impersonators grappling right there on the sidewalk. They're swearing in Spanish and beating each other with microphone stands. Ugh. Really? Alright, hold on. I'm sorry, but I gotta... I gotta lower the dang music. I have it at the lowest I could have it before muting it. What does salary do? I haven't figured that out yet. I have no detectives. That'd be it. Looks like we have a situation here. Drive a... okay. <clears throat> The shop has two exits from which a few people have already fled. Drive a pro patrol car right through the front window. What? Enter the store through the main entrance. Sneak up to the back door. Back door. The stick up man noticed the police presence and took the cashier hostage. And I only sent one cop because I'm a fool. He's holding his gun to the hostage's head, shouting, Back off or I'll blow his goddamn face off. Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling in an unknown language. You're in a mask. You in the mask. Shut your face and drop the weapon. Silently take aim at the robber. Quiet, Abdul. Abdul. You're just making things more complicated. Is his name Adul? If not, that's kind of racist. Silently take aim. Don't kill the citizen. The robber grows visibly nervous. Don't shoot, please. I just need the money. I'll take a little bit and go. No one was hurt. The cashier, the cashier begins to cry. I'll just take a little bit and go. Shoot the robber. I'll let you leave here right upright, but only if you release the hostage. There's two ways out of the shop, in cuffs or in a body bag. I'll let you leave upright if you release the Wait, what? What? Okay, let's get some music in here. I like this song, hear yeah. it The ambient wind noise is too much. All right. Jack, this year the organizers of the Golden Beast Hunt suddenly changed the rules of the annual shooting contest. It's now featuring teams instead of single comp comp competitors. Can you send me two of your finest marksmen? I'd really love to do well in the competition. We don't really need money. I can't spare officers. No. Robbery. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired. An antique Chinese necklace was stolen from Bai Ling while she was on the way to the pawn shop. Alright, you take lead, you help. It's a hot one today. A lot of people are going for a swim. Last week, four people drowned on the benches of Freebird. Beaches <laughs> of Freebird. And the press was in an uproar. Please send someone to keep an eye on things. All right, I go. Can't have people drowning. Three eleven. Can you cancel this? Two twelve. Progress. Uh, well done. But don't got one. Three eleven. Can you cancel this? Two twelve. Progress. Uh, well done. But don't got one. And damn. What the hell? Do I have to send like the best guys I possibly have just to catch a guy who's running fast? Come on. Destruction of property. 
you and you take care. Girl standing, and then her rock. Okay. No need to focus on the case yet until we get more evidence. And how's that murder investigation going? Hello, everyone. My name is JTix, and I'm here just to do some insular commentary. There were some technical difficulties in the recording process, and approximately three point something or other minutes of footage were lost. So, unfortunately, I am watching the gameplay that was lost, and I'm going to be commentating how I usually would should I have been playing the game and there weren't any mistakes. Uh, this is this is real life. They, these kind of things happen, and you have to rectify your mistakes. That's why we edit. So, please do forgive me, and I, I hope you will understand. Let's get right into it. In progress. A guard went out for a smoke and saw a teenager writing obscenities on the wall of the building. I chased the brat up the tree. You can take it from here. Detective Daisy, we got three friends. Okay, at this point I'm just putting the frames in order. You'll easily be able to see what I do here. I just at first I'm confused and I'm like, oh, that's not the order, I guess, so I just start switching around and then the Chinese immigrant recently expelled from the university. That is our system. Your detective has information on the whereabouts of the suspect. Sometimes they might be a number of locations. There might, there might be a number of locations to choose from. In this case, the to carry out the arrest, two officers must escort the lead investigator to apprehend the suspect. If the lead investigator is not on duty, the arrest will have to wait. But remember that fugitives won't sit patiently until your schedule clears. Also, remember that criminals will react in different ways. A frightened thief is likely to surrender as soon as the game is up. A brutal killer might want to see just how many he can take with him. With more dangerous criminals, it's safer to send experienced officers in, even the SWAT team, if you see fit. So now I'm deciding to get just a pet thief or just send these. I sent my best officer because it may have been just a thief, but I didn't even know. So I just I sent my best officer. Because it was my first case, and I didn't want to screw it up. So, Robert. All right, we caught the offender. And the officers came to experience and hack up that you were able to arrest all suspects. Yes, there's only one, but they're all arrested. And of course, that guy escapes. I still have not yet figured out how. Right. Looks like tomorrow's going to be a long day. More that, more like the first of a lot of long days. There's too much going on. But yeah, I simply just, I haven't figured out how to catch the suspects efficiently. Well, I, I think I do later on in this episode. But uh, that should be all the commentary that's necessary. Uh, I do apologize again, but stuff happens, and I I couldn't I couldn't just re-record the episode because not only would that have seemed fake, and I'm I'm all about doing it in the moment. And we're going to try to bring you guys the realism of me playing a game, sort of, for the first time. Like, I may jump into a game and play it for like a minute or two just to see if my computer can handle the graphics, or if there's any technical issues I need to work out with the recording of the video, and just to, to, just to feel out the control. But for the most part, all every time you see me play, it's you know, I like to play a new game for you guys. So... And, and, you know, this, this game's also, it's, like, essentially randomly generated based on what crimes you get and who you hire and fire. And I just, I, I couldn't just start a new game and get up back up to day three. And there was no load system. Like, it loads by the week. So I couldn't just go back to the days that I recorded in the third episode here. Either way, a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo I'm sure you don't want to hear. I don't want this to be another, you know, 30 minute video, but.
I do apologize, and I hope this was su sufficient enough to maintain your attention and entertainment values. Back to you, past me. Or future me. Whatever. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. Of course, they could have shot them the second they took the photo, but I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. Why are both of their phones facing the opposite way? You think at least one Eight of them in have ten. Phone with the numbers. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a Mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think? What's going to happen to eight and ten? Well, crap. All right, let's do this. Let's try something. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. You lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire an employee. Because well, I have three empty slots. Ah, okay. I have three empty slots, so I didn't have to fire anyone. Turned out to be a member of the gang known as the Red Masks. 
he could help take down the gang if we make him an informant. Sure. Hell yeah. Let the little fish go. So he catch the big fish later. That's like number three of the rules of being a cop. There are a number of gangs in Freebird, and that means there's bounties to collect. Some of the criminals you come across will be members of one gang or another. In exchange for immunity, they may be willing to give up their bosses. And just got even more interesting. Alright, start the investigation. Need to, need to catch Naghide? Was his name Naghide? I didn't I didn't read that. <clears throat> In this way, you can get your hooks in the gang members higher and higher up the food chain. The ultimately and ultimately take down the boss. If you want to arrest the boss, the game will be finished. If you do arrest the boss, the game will be finished. And you'll claim a reward. 20 grand. Woo! There are also rewards for formally charging gang members. Whenever you arrest a gang member, you get a bonus. But you deal with that person, uh, but your deal with that person is over. Don't settle for small fish. You use the small fish to catch the big fish. Okay, well, I'm not gonna risk it. How exactly do I go about our gangs? This guy. Start the investigation. There we go. Ah, I got no detectives. Okay, so we'll have to start the investigation later. Violine gave several interviews in which she spoke about atrocities committed by the Red Masks game. That doesn't roll up Red Masks. doesn't roll off the top. Masks. She embellished a lot and disordered the facts. Distorted the facts. Ah. If you want to keep people from panicking, you'll need to take down the gang within the next four days. Ah. Crap. But I got no flipping detectives. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. I'm not firing all the black cops. They're good. They're well that one's not. But well no, it's 70. I thought it thought it said 10. Okay, 70, that's that's decent. City Hall can't meet your request at this time. Sorry guys. Okay, well apparently I have to do this. But I have no flipping detectives. Alright. He'll just he'll start a preliminary case on it. Get the files in order. And then we'll put some more detectives on it later. Attempted murder. Sugar Dream Confectionary. A young employee at the factory got into a fight with the manager and is trying to push him into a vat of boiling chocolate. Okay. Uh, can't have people getting murdered. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start sending the worst and the best. I think that that plan will work out. Well, I hope that plan will work out. The investigation has started. Ning He is faithful assistant Jin, Jin Yang, a founding member of the gang. He's entrusted with the most serious with the most serious jobs. Okay, well that's kind of irrelevant until we get some more data. I must only right, there we go. I must only need these three. Really? So I pulled up shot and drove off, really? Okay. A known racist who already has several previous 
convictions. Am I am I, am I doing that right? I don't know if I'm doing that. Right. All right. Well, that plan seemed to work a bit. Let's go ahead and take care of this. You too. I wonder if you can build a connection between the cops. Like, if you send two of them on the case over and over and over again, it'll help. Alright, Travis works at the port as a loader. Uh, you and you. Add at it. Determine the car theft, the, the car thief's location. Overtake the criminal and attempt to take him down and take him into custody. Overtake the offender and block the road. Catch up with the stolen vehicle and open fire. Uh, let's uh, overtake him and block the road like a smart person. There we go. Being smart, always effective. Fourteen civilians killed in a car crash. No. Yeah, that's about like this game. All right, you two, back on the job. Keep in line, rookie. I'm gonna go do this. All right, we caught him. Yeah, doing good now. You were able to arrest all suspects. Well, bam. Now let's go ahead and put some more detectives on this case. Uh, you and you. And I might need you later. Well, I asked you to come to work. I'll just switch them out if need be. We'll put all of them on there, and I'll just take them away if, if need be. Nine eleven in progress. We received. We received a call from an angry casino patron. He claims that one of the casino's girls that had that was handling <clears throat> hanging around his table lifted his wallet, which was carrying a couple of thousands of dollars in cash and several credit cards. Casino security shoved him aside, saying that he was drunk, but the man isn't getting up so easily. All right, well, I'm gonna stick with my plan. You know what? This one doesn't sound terribly serious. Christopher G. Yeah, not this. No, I don't want to deal with this. Ah, Jack, we're dealing with a moron who refuses to pay his debts. Says that the police will protect him. I think it's time we show him whose side the police are on. And wife and kids. I helped Kendrick to save his fucking kids. Fuck him, he's connected with the mob too. Go. Don't affiliate yourself with the mob. situation was a false alarm. Joseph Laurie's mother wouldn't let him play until he ate broccoli. Point well in progress. Oh, oh, okay, salt with a deadly weapon. At a parking lot exit, a security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The female driver reached casually into the glove compartment and then pulled out a gun and opened fire. Fuck. We 
got a situation here. The police cruiser has caught up with the <clears throat> with the pepper trader's van. Try to run the van out the road, shoot out the criminal's tires, use the bullhorn to order the van to stop. She's already opened fire. Shoot out the tires. The van takes a sharp turn and crashes. I knew that was going to happen. Through a window of sex shop, a woman exits the vehicle, grabs the shop attendant, and oh, why does it matter that it's a sex shop? And puts a gun to his head. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Throw a rubber sex doll at the assailant. Shoot the criminal in the head. Let go of the man right now. Shoot her in the head. She's already on fire. I caught her. I caught her? Don't you mean she's dead? I shot her in the head. Apparently I caught her. Shooting people in the head isn't deadly in this game. Who knew? It's got a lovely housing development here. Got three new frames. Open the investigation. Let's do this. Okay, the necklace has uh, kept the most valuable prize at the home of the Irene as their cell. Gang must have immediate buyer for the necklace. Okay. Usually the restaurant opens around the clock. It is open around the clock, but it was closed the night before because an important deal was going down. Bibles are kept in a safe under the bar. Mean key has a key to the restaurant. Okay, so this is him pulling up. He walks up to the bar, he opens the safe. Done and done. He pulls up, he walks up to the bar, he opens the safe. Up. He walks up to the bar, he opens the safe. Am I something here? Okay, that's the order those pictures go in. I don't know what else to say. Founding member of the game is entrusted with the most valuable job. Okay, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> he, uh... Three details. I can't switch those. How does that make sense? He goes, he... What? How does that make sense? He pulls up to the bar, and then immediately goes to the safe, then is walking towards the bar? Hasn't officially worked anywhere in the past 10 years. Well, apparently we're working some overtime on this case. A year ago, me began <clears throat> became owner of the house. The home was listed as a gift on his tax return. Oh ma'am, let's send our two best. We're working some serious overtime on this case. the stolen property. You were able to arrest all suspects. Case closed. Alrighty. We're on our way. Be starting that investigation tomorrow. I'll see how many detectives I can pull it put over till tomorrow. Okay, I can put her over and I can put him over. He needs a day off. Okay, uh, you look good. This is B show. I'll take you, and I'll take... <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, well that sucks, I sneezed right at the end of the video. Very interesting game, I'll try to edit it to where it's not so boring, there were some moments where I wasn't saying anything, just waiting on stuff to happen, but nevertheless, loving this game. 
strategy and story combined with a brand new path storyline. Oh, it's just amazing. And you can buy this on Steam and console for $15. How amazing is that? So, if you're interested in it, definitely pick it up. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.